Hey everybody, welcome to KM Reviews. I am Middleman. Today I'm bringing you a spoiler-free review for Christopher Nolan's new World War II film, Dunkirk. Now this is based on a true story about a bunch of these forces that are surrounded by Germany's forces and are just trying to escape and go home, but they're stuck on this beach and what's going to happen? If you don't know the story, well, you got to see the movie. Um, now I'm going to give you my rating for this movie right off the bat, and if you want to know why I gave it that rating, stick around to find out my pros and cons with it. So I'm going to go ahead and give Dunkirk a one night stand. It was really good, but it was no save at Private Ryan. Alright guys, now realize a one night stand can be an amazing, mind blowing experience, but you may never want to experience it again. And that's kind of how I feel about this movie. You know, I really enjoyed this movie actually. I really thought there were some amazing action sequences. There's amazing cinematography. The way he does the timelines in this movie kind of reminds me of Memento in a way, in terms of it's not a straightforward story. You kind of have three different storylines going on. Each one is a different length of time. They kind of meld together and you're seeing certain characters at different points in time. It's kind of hard to explain unless you see it, but it was really interestingly done, and I actually liked that creative take on it to kind of see where it was going because technically the movie only spans like, a day really or maybe a week at most but you also see it through different characters perspectives so you might see the ev same event taking place from this character's perspective and this character's perspective and this character's perspective also something you may or may not like about this movie is the kind of facelessness of war aspect to it and by that i mean there's not really a main character you see it from so many different characters perspectives and you don't really get to know any of the characters all that well you just kind of see what they're doing at that point in time and you don't really get to know much else about them but you feel like you're there in a way you feel like you're on the boat with them you feel like you're on the beach with them you feel like you're on the plane with them and it makes you just feel this intensity it's not really about character development it's just about this specific Dunkirk situation and how are you going to survive what are you going to do to survive and what these characters do that makes it really intense for me, a movie like Saving Private Ryan, I could watch that movie a million times and always be enthralled with it. I don't think that I will feel that way about this movie. It's probably a movie, if I ever watch it again, it'll be just to make someone else watch it. But I'm not like, oh my god, I gotta go see that movie again, it was so riveting. But it was still a good movie. You know, there's not really anything negative to it that I can say, other than the fact that there's not a re lot of rewatchability to it for me. So what about you guys? Have you seen this movie? Is it really anticipated for you? Were you happy with it when you saw it? I don't know. Let me know in comment below. Also remember you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Nettleman. And stay tuned for more movie reviews if you can handle it. Go.